Hey everyone, welcome into Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Jack Phillips alongside Amy Galashevsky. We're previewing the Marquette men's basketball team as the squad goes on to face the St. John's Red Storm tonight in Pfizer form. That game starts at 8 o'clock. Amy, it's definitely going to be a fun game tonight. It's going to be a fun one, but it's also going to be a close one. St. John's is at the bottom of the standings in the Big East right now, but that means nothing. There is no bad team in the Big East, and I think Marquette struggled with that last Saturday. They faced Georgetown. Many fans thought that it would be an easy win for Marquette, but it really wasn't. The only two reasons that they won is because Marcus Howard scored 42 points, and then in the last nine seconds, Kobe McEwen sunk those four free throws to put Marquette on top. So I I think it'll be another close one. And obviously, going looking back at that Georgetown game, you said Marcus Howard already had dropped 42 points. That was literally half the team's points. That was his third 40-point game this season, I believe. Yeah, it's, I think so. It's just been an unbelievable season for Marcus Howard. But looking to tonight against the Red Storm, they come in at 1-5 and five in Big East play. Marquette at 3-3. Three and three. They're on a two-game winning streak, looking to extend it to three tonight in five serve. Who's going to be your key impact player, and what are your predictions? I think that Jace Johnson is going to be my key impact player tonight. He's fairly new to the team. He's the transfer from Utah, and he struggled with some adversity already this season. He's had those knee troubles, but it seems that with every game, he gets more healthy and more confident, which is exactly what you want to see. We saw it last Saturday. He scored eight points, had the seven rebounds. So you have this grad student who's seven feet tall. He's a great rebounder, and he can replace Theo John when he's in foul trouble. So I think if Jace Johnson plays a lot tonight, Marquette will win. And obviously with Ed Morrow gone as of now, now. It's That's really been huge for Marquette to have him as depth in the center position. And have those bigs. It's very crucial. Well, regardless, it should be a fun one. Anyway, thanks for being here, Amy. Don't forget to follow at Zoe underscore Comerford at, and at MJ Yazel on Twitter for live updates. You can also follow us at MUR Sports. We'll have live updates as well. And we also have a radio broadcast. If you go to marketwire.org slash MUR, you can listen to Dan Abington and Shane Hogan on the call. You won't want to miss that one. You definitely will not want to miss that one. Regardless, we'll have takeaways after the game, so we'll be back in a few hours. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching this video. For more MUTV Sports content posted every day, click the subscribe button right here on your screen or follow us on Twitter at MUWIRESports.